Star Wars 7x7 episode 2966. Yesterday we talked about The Princess and the Scoundrel, the new book from Beth Revis, and today we're going to talk about The Princess and the Scoundrel again, but in a different way. <laughs> we're going to be talking about the audiobook performance today. Punch it! <laughs> Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So the audiobook situation from Penguin Random House Audio, and by the way, thanks to those fine folks for sending me a review copy to check out and to talk about with you. They're doing this one a bit differently. So generally speaking, the audiobook situation from Penguin Random House Audio, at least as it pertains to Star Wars stories, usually happens in one of two ways. Either it's one person narrating the entire story, or it's a full cast situation. For example, the most recent one to come out, Shadow of the Sith, obviously, that's a one-person show, whereas, say, for example, the audio dramas like Dooku Jedi Lost and the Dr. Aphra adaptation slash expansion and the Tempest Runner story, those are performed by at least a dozen or more players who are doing, some cases, individual characters and in some cases, multiple characters. What they've done with The Princess and the Scoundrel, however, is get two narrators, because of course we have a story told from two people's perspectives, Han and Leia, alternating chapters as we talked about on yesterday's episode. And so the fine folks at Penguin Random House Audio decided, hey, let's get one person to read each of the Han chapters and another person to get each of the Leia chapters, which is fantastic and works really well. So it's Mark Thompson for the Han chapters and Saskia Marleveld for the Leia chapters chapters. Now, Mark Thompson, of course, is a very well-known voice in the world of Star Wars audiobook narration. Saskia Marleveld, by comparison, within Star Wars storytelling may not be, but I have to say I am a particular fan of Saskia's because her performance for the first novel in the Alphabet Squadron trilogy, Alphabet Squadron, I just, I absolutely loved her performance. I thought it was fantastic. Now, she may not necessarily be the vocal chameleon that Mark Thompson is, but quite honestly, who is, right? But I have to say, you know, first of all, yes, absolutely loved the alternating narrators for sure. I did actually have a moment where I thought, you know what? I kind of wish that it was just Mark performing Han and just Saskia performing Leia and that they'd had a third person in there to do every other voice and to do the narration and just have them focused on those two particular characters. Not because I thought there was anything wrong with them delivering the narration and the other voices or anything like that. I just, I love the idea of having them playing Han and Leia and it's not often that we get a full cast situation where we have original trilogy characters in their heyday, like as we know and remember them from Return of the Jedi, because this story of course takes place immediately after the events of Return of the Jedi. So to have a you know, tight focus with one person playing Han all the way through and not having to worry about anything else and another person playing Leia and not having to worry about anything else, I don't know, I thought that might've been fun too. But the way it works, works very well and I'm so curious to know whether they were recording together and I mean that in terms of were they in the recording studio doing their chapters at the same time were they getting to listen to each other narrate the chapters that they were narrating there's one chapter at the end where they co-narrate and that's also related to my wondering <laughs> about this because I mean, that's something that could skillfully be edited together and they could have recorded their parts separately naturally, but that particular chapter I just thought was marvelous. And having Mark and Saskia perform together as Han and Leia and the way that the Penguin Random House audio team took the narrative parts of that chapter and split them up between Saskia and Mark was very well done too. So it created a real dynamic last chapter. I mean, kind of also made me want them just to perform again, their voices <laughs> throughout. Now, in all honesty, I did not start this review thinking that I was going to be having ideas about how I wished they had done the production of this. And so I'm almost as surprised by that as you might be, basically. But 
I want to say that I enjoyed the heck out of it. And also, you know, the production is as much about the soundscape that gets created as it is about the characters, so the music and the atmosphere and whatnot, and that is spot on. It's it's just wonderful to, you know, when you're in the era where you've grown up with the original trilogy to get that original trilogy feel and to have the production team at Penguin Random House Audio do such a fantastic job with that. It's tremendous. And there are, of course, a couple of laugh out loud moments that I've mentioned about Lando throwing the party <laughs> the night before the wedding and then hijinks at the wedding as well. And it is just as laugh out loud funny with the audio version as it is if you're reading the book. So overall, it is just as light and breezy of a performance as the book is itself to read. So overall, it is a light and breezy listen, just like it's a light and breezy read. And both Saskia and Mark give a lot of joy and fun to their performances, even when they're delving into these deeper ruminations that we talked about on yesterday's show. As much as they are talking about some serious topics, it doesn't necessarily feel dark in its portrayal, as it were. And so, yeah, it's it's a great fun listen. And once again, thank you to Penguin Random House Audio for sending along a review copy. That was really good fun to enjoy. And that right there is going to do it for our non-spoiler review of the audiobook version of The Princess and the Scoundrel. And that's going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.